Manitowoc school superintendent is answering to some complaints about an action he took against a school club. As Local 5's Timothy Lateau reports, there's now an internal investigation underway. But the attorney in just because of, you know, sometimes there's reference to laws and so we're just wanting to make sure that uh, we're in compliance. Superintendent Jim Ryle says that he ended the IDEA Club, which stands for the Inclusivity, Diversity, Equity Alliance at Wilson Middle School because it lacked academic focus and was sending students to receive help from other students rather than licensed adults. Potentially sending kids to kids in case there, there might be concerns, you know, that, that was troubling to me. Jennifer Gleichner is a former district employee that co-founded the Alliance for Leading and Learning Youth and filed a public information request of Superintendent Ryle's emails regarding the IDEA Club, yielding 5,000 documents that have yet to be released following the conclusion of the internal investigation. Gleichner says that by ending the IDEA Club, the Manitowoc Public School District violated federal law, known as the Equal Access Act of 1994. It says that you, you cannot impose different restrictions on different clubs. They all need to be treated the same. School board member Matthew Phipps doesn't believe the allegations are valid. Manitowoc Public School District doesn't discriminate against anybody, um, so I don't know exactly where that comes from. While fellow board member Chris Abel says the club had an important purpose. What I saw was a club that meets the needs of all kinds of kids, all kinds, and encourages them to talk about what difficulties they're having and how they can solve them. In Manitowoc, Timothy Lateau, Local 5 News. The superintendent told Timothy the goal of the investigation is to be thorough, so there is no deadline for finishing it.